For those who are concerned about the governor and those people over there saying, you know, if there's any kind of problems with the sheriffs and the citizens over there, they would call out the National Guard. Well, we all know that the National Guard will resist any such orders because those people have a constitutional right. Here's the thing. They can call in the United Nations Peacekeeping Forces. I used to have a, a paper, and I'd give it to somebody for to make a copy, and I never got it back. It also stated in there, like if they couldn't get hold of the, the government in one way, shape, or form, that they could call in uh, United Nations uh, uh, Peacekeeping Forces. Any mayor, governor, it didn't matter. They could call them in. Look up at uh, Detroit when they had that water problem, you know, which is caused by the Free Trade Act taking all the jobs out of the country, and there's no tax basis for the cities to repair any of their facilities. So, bingo, the UN advisors show up in Detroit, Michigan. They have no business up there. That is not an international incident. But here, I want you to see something. It's an end run around your national sovereignty. You're being primed for a world government with elaborate plans drawn, foundations laid, and walls in place. Most Americans are are oblivious to the gargantuan uh, global government that is sneaking and nearing completion. The shaky scaffolding of the United Nations will be stripped away and a new and improved United Nations will soon be dedicated to launch one of the most insidious power grabs the world has ever known. Now, why did I bring that up about the UN? Well, here's the thing. Do you remember uh, uh, President George Herbert Walker Bush in his uh, 1990 speech to Congress? He, st he said, and he stipulated that out of the chaos, uh, our fifth objective, a new world order, shall emerge. Look it up. Out of the chaos, telling you, it's right, right there. Out of the chaos, a, uh, our fifth objective, a new world order, can emerge. Now, he's already told you ahead of time that they already have this plan, his fifth objective. Not his fifth objective, our fifth objective. So I want you guys to be aware that this could happen. Who's behind the new world order? The Council on Foreign Relations. And they're the ones that started this in the UN. It, they brought that UN in in 46 or 47, maybe 48, yeah. Here's Cronkite. Remember him? Oh, we're most trusted. Yeah, the veteran news men watched for decades by so many has thrown off his deceitful bill of objectivity and is calling for an end to the U.S. sovereignty. And Hillary Clinton says, uh, Thank you, Walter. Thank you for inspiring us for all to build a more peaceful and just world. Here's something, people. Be my lips, son. New world order. This has been going on for quite some time, people. Even Buchanan, his 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 thing was he was going to kick out the United Nations. He said, if they, need, if they have trouble leaving here, we'll send 10,000 Marines down to help them pack. He didn't make it as president, did he? There, there's just so much stuff on, on the United Nations, people. I mean, looky here. Oh, well, something else in case you don't know it. You're, um, uh, right here. Here we go. I want you to see this, because I'm not telling you this stuff off the top of my head. 
The Great Smoky Mountains National Park is now an international biosphere reserve. U.S. parks come under the control of the United Nations. The Great Smoky Mountain National Park, along with, uh, with dozens of other U.S. national parks, are now officially an international biosphere reserve area administered by the United Nations Committee, whose authority supersedes the United States government. You can see. That's what you got to look out for. So keep an eye open for what's going on in Virginia. If they if they do uh, attempt to send in the National Guard to quell something, and they they resist that that command because of constitutional issues, look for the United Nations to show up in one shape or form. Uh, they could have armored vehicles. They're supposed to have whatever it takes to quell uh, any kind of uh, The panel recommends a U uh, an overhaul of UN peacekeeping forces uh, What they need now is in the future the panel said the UN military forces must be uh, capable of responding to such challenges which means bigger better equipment and more cost, costly missions with the authority to use force. So keep that in mind. Okay, uh, I've said enough guys. I just wanted you to be updated on something that could happen. I'm not saying it will, but it, it, it could be on the drawing board. This may, be, may there be their big step. Thanks for watching.